Got the old mile marker winch controller box here. Uh, dead goes to like a direct short when you hit the button, makes lots of sparks. So, gonna update it, pull the old solenoids out, put one of these newer style ones in from, uh, of course, Amazon 500 Amper. They had 250s, but I thought bigger is better, right? I don't know. I'll leave links. So, basically, we're gonna take this apart and gut it. There it is, gutted. Solenoids, some bus bar, power bar distributions. Save those for future projects. Take all the nuts off of these, save them. I've seen some videos where you can mess with these, try and bring them back, but it's like, I think these are 20 years old, so I don't think it's worth it to me. And uh, I gotta pull the rest of these off. There's the bottom. I'm gonna put the new one in, probably like this, but I was worried the relation of the power to the base plate. Metal and metal not good. So sweet spacer, drill the hole for the mounting ears like so. I'm gonna put it on there like this. Run my wires, put the cover back on and see what we got. There's my sweet wood spacer. Plenty of room. I'm gonna have to cut the bolts off because it's all I had. That was that length to go through both. I don't really go any water with this winch. It's not like on the front of a four x four. So I'm not worried about that wood getting wet. I guess you could get some plastic or some other space or paint it or something, but I'm not worried about it since it's on my trailer 99% of the time. All right, here it's all wired up. Left the cover off so I can go over the wiring in a few minutes, but my connections, this controller power goes to the controller from down there. And then there's your wires from the controller, just the two outers, three wire controller. Again, red goes right to hot. The center one, ground. I tried to ground it to the chassis, it didn't work. I had to ground it right to the negative from the battery. So then I just got my cover off, bulkhead connector, switch. Works great. If you're concerned with the in and out, not saying what they do, just switch these two wires around. That'll reverse directions. And if for some reason it doesn't, you could always switch your motor wires. Here's the connectors. They're marked plus and minus, so negative to the battery, positive to the battery. Your winch motor, you can switch them if you need to switch direction or switch it out here. Or, as I said in the last clip, switch the two outers. So then the ground goes to the center. I've seen some schematics with positive. I didn't even try that. It didn't sound good because my controller, uh, I guess not controller, we would call it remote, has this positive for the positive. Even had a little loop connector on it already. So I put it on there. So basically, when you hit the switch on here, positive's coming into it. When you hit it, positive's going back out to either side, in or out. Seems to work so far, so uh, I'll have to put it through its paces and give it a try. Links in the description. Hope it helps.